Hi, welcome back. Uh, we, in this video, we are actually going to be talking a little bit more in depth about the attachment and the importance of attachment. Enjoy. So, um, part of our assignment as educators as parents as people who work with other human beings is to truly support the mountain and the valley experiences with the hope that we are supporting people in ways that parents and educators and directors and coordinators and therapists feel seen and heard mm -hmm. And even more importantly, that they feel valued as they journey up mountains, through valleys, with children and with each other. This is the importance of the role that we play and secure attachments will allow us to do that when we can recognize for ourselves what that looks like and why it's so important. Yeah, yeah. So let's let's look at that attachment a little bit closer, Peaches. You touched on it a little earlier. Um, so let's let's talk about these attachment styles that that children experience um, from very very young ages, right? Um, the they're they're kind of hardwired this way. In, and I'll say based on how they're responded to from the adults, right? So if I'm quickly responded to, and I mean, within a, in a reasonable time, I know, you know, mom's washing her hands and she can't get to, she's got other children. She can't get to that baby right away. That's, that's normal. But this is, you know, these adaptive um, attachments styles um, are learned basically, right? They're learned on how do I get my needs met? So attachment in childhood, um, it really is, is a wiring in the brain um, to know whether somebody's going to really show up for us and keep us safe or not, right? So this affects how we understand relationships even later in life. We, we tend to, I like the word you use, revert back, even in the emotional milestones, we kind of tend to revert back to our baseline of what, what made me feel safe, what made me feel secure in, as a child. And so those feelings, those emotions, uh, the fears, the stresses kind of go back. Um, so Peaches, do you mind um, kind of describing a few of these? So I, I don't mind at all. This is what I was thinking while you were talking, um, Roxana, was that you, you use the word hardwired. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times when we hear that word, we, you know, our minds might go to, okay, if something is hardwired, then it, it doesn't move. It, it can't mm -hmm. move. And I love how you clarified that these experiences will create a hard wiring within the brain. And so the child comes to expect this type of uh, experience from this adult because mm -hmm. there is something that we talk about in our work uh, at Loom, which is temperament and temperament is hardwired. And that is something that is not undone. It is the way that you see, explore and experience the world. Whereas attachment, when uh, we look at this chart, uh, an adaptive attachment can be healed. Yeah. And so adaptive attachments are not hardwired. Thank you for that. I said earlier, you're going to hear this a couple of times, that if at some point the child does not have this secure attachment, this is something that one relationship at a time will begin to allow this person permission mm -hmm. to explore a trusted relationship with someone else. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to make sure that we um, that. mess that one up when we talk about that wiring, right? Right, right. The wiring can be heard a couple of different ways. Or I confused everybody and I apologize for that. <laughs> But um, so Roxana talked about the chart here. Um, what I do want to do is I want to just point out in this moment that 
we're talking about the secure attachment, which is where a child or another adult is able to say, I am secure and safe. I am loved and I feel free to explore my world. Mm -hmm. That's what we want for everyone. But there are times when patterns happen within our lives where we do not feel that way. And so we're going to talk um, more about these adaptive attachments um, in, in just a little bit more um, in depth. I'm not sure if mm -hmm. we are. you're telling me to do that now or later. Nope, we're going to yep. do that later. So yep. we're going to do it later. I just wanted you to kind of introduce, and I don't mind doing that either. Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned secure and, uh, you know, another type of... Um, of a pattern might be that resistance and the child might be saying you know what i need you but i don't trust you i i take no comfort in you another one might be avoidant nope nope i don't need you and i don't want anything to do with you and i don't want you to be close to me and then the the other one is more disorganized where sometimes you're kind and sometimes you hurt me i don't, i don't know what to do so there's a high anxiety there um yeah. So we're, we're just going to give you a, a little pause, and, and I know you've been kind of observing this as we talk, but think about what really stands out to you. I want you to just give, give space for a little reflection here. Um, think about, you know, do, do some, does a name come into your head? Do you see yourself on this chart? Um, yeah, just want to take a little pause. So when we we're, we're thinking about, okay, why, why do we need to know this, right? Why is this important for us in our work or our, as, as a parent? Uh, why, why do we need to know about this? Okay, yeah, yeah, Peaches and Roxana, everything happens about relationship, right? Rela learning happens in relationships. Uh, everything happens in relationships. But why is this so important? Um, and I think... You know, in this picture that we're wa watching here, we don't even know, are these the parents? Are these caregivers, foster parents? Are this, is there a parent educator here? Um, is it the man? Is it, is it the woman? Is it a therapist? Is it a therapist? You know, we don't know. But what what is is so profound here is that everyone is engaged and there's a closeness. There's a sense of peace. There's serenity here, right? There's almost a, a oneness between the four of them. Um, and, and just, um, I, and I think that during the, the pandemic, it reminded us that we're not as connected as we, we, we thought we were, right? And then we missed that connectiveness. And I think that's, that's the point that we want to, to set, to speak to is the why is because we've got to, bring that connection back. Um, we've got to um, uh, give ourselves permission to, to reconnect again with, with others, to, to the families we work with, to, to each other, to our children, and um, to be really, you talked earlier about being really present, right, in the moment, and, and being okay with silence, being okay to just be um, with with children again, um, to have that offer that opportunity to let that that child explore or hold on to a toy and not explore, just watch and observe, right? And you spoke to attachment being the key milestone to on which all others are built. Um, it's the key to all healthy relationships for the rest of of, of life. Um, so when we support families in being and doing the best they they can be as parents, you go as if you're if you're doing home visits that, you know, you're just not there for the parent. You're just not there for the child. You're there for all. And you're a part of that all. You play a big part in that all. Um, so I think that um, we, we, we want to encourage and get permission to children and adults to feel safe, secure, and loved, um, and, and feel empowered to be in a secure relationship, right? To know at least and experience what that's like. Um, Roxana, I love how you said, you know, 
that both have an opportunity to give each other permission mm -hmm. to explore the relationship together and feel empowered in that relationship. Mm -hmm. Part of our work as educators is to allow for that to just genuinely happen mm -hmm. between the child and the adult. And how we show up, whether we are a parent, a therapist, a coordinator, an educator, how we show up in position and posture posture ourselves mm -hmm. so important to that support yeah. and I was thinking about you know how we tend to you know model I'm looking at this picture again the reason we can't tell who is who in this picture if you will is because the posture is so positive in supporting the relationship so we've got these blocks as a tool, but there's a relationship that's really shining through in this particular photo. So thank you so much for talking about sure. giving permission yeah. for yeah. both parties to explore what a, a secure relationship can look like and feel like. Right, right.